May all beings be happy. May they awaken from the dream. May delusions fall away and clinging cease. Ignorance, greed, and anger have no hold on the awakened heart. So when we approach this place from the outside, it looks like a little office condo. And when we walk in the door, we're transformed into a zendo and a sangha, where we can all enjoy being together as one. I'll leave it at that, as one. I started uh, Ordinary Zen Sangha about, Mar I think it was March 2015. And my only ambition was really just to share the commitment that I felt to practice. And we call Ordinary Zen Sangha a practice center because we come here to practice. And what do we practice? We practice letting go of exactly what I was talking about, our ignorance, our greed, our anger, and touch on what is the essence of who we are. So this has been quite the journey. Um, this is not something I've done. This is something we've done, those of us who've been coming regularly, uh, and those who've just started coming, and those who are here tonight, are, are all part of this experience. And it's through your generosity that made this possible. So we are now here. Um, Charlene, my wife, you know, offered us this place when she's not using it. And uh, since then, about a month ago, we moved in. Uh, shortly after that, or maybe it was even be shortly before that, Jula approached me and said, well, Chungan Sunim is coming to town. Maybe we could arrange for him to come and spend some time with you. And I said, wonderful. And it was very auspicious for me because my primary uh, teacher, my root teacher, is also Korean. And although Chung An Sunim is not Korean, he, he's from Hungary, he spent many years in Korea and studied there. So I was very happy to hear that. And it all, all these things came together. So this place became available. Chung An Sunim shows up. Boy, does he. <laughs> and uh, I'm very glad and very grateful. So I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about me, but I did want to just mention how grateful I am to everybody who has contributed so much to my life by just being themselves and being open and vulnerable and clear and willing to share and experience this together as a, as a community, as a group. So I would like to continue in that spirit tonight. I think that the best way to proceed when we have a Zen master in the room is to ask him questions and ask him anything. Test him if you want. It's all good. See if he knows what he's talking about. See if you know what you're talking about. See if knowing has anything to do with talking. So with that, I would really like to turn it over to him. He's a wonderful human being. I'm so glad that he's here. And with that, we'll switch places and I'll bring him up.